Hello and welcome to the CVE Program Overview presentation presented by the CVE team. This presentation includes an overview of what is CVE, our program goals, who operates the program, and describes how the CVE program is organized. CVE stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures and is an international community-based effort that maintains a community-driven, open data registry of publicly known cybersecurity vulnerabilities. The CVE identifiers, or CVE IDs, assigned through the registry allow program stakeholders to rapidly discover and correlate vulnerability information used to protect systems against attacks. CVE IDs are assigned by CVE numbering authorities, also known as CNAs, which are operated on a voluntary basis by participating organizations. CVE is the de facto international standard for identifying vulnerabilities and exposures. The CVE list feeds the National Vulnerability Database. The CVE program has two main goals. The first goal is to scale the program for broader adoption and coverage. Adoption in new domains leads to greater coverage. Greater coverage leads to broader community participation, which distributes the CVE workload, enables federation, and provides greater utility to consumers. The second goal of the program is to produce more CVE entries faster. More CVE entries are produced as additional CNAs are onboarded. Faster CVE entry population is possible with less complexity, clear guidelines, and with a flexible and automated infrastructure enables early stage vulnerability management and coordination and effective cyber hygiene. The CVE program is operated by the MITRE Corporation and is funded by the United States Department of Homeland Security, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, Vulnerability Management Component. MITRE is funded to operate and evolve the CVE program as an independent objective third party. So how is the CVE program organized? The CVE board performs an essential role by providing strategic governance and operational advisory functions and is comprised of industry, academic, and government representatives from around the world. The CVE board also provides timely and transparent oversight, decision making, and communications, ensures program value is delivering to stakeholders, and that the guiding principles are being followed. The CVE program is sponsored by the Department of Homeland Security, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, Vulnerability Management Component, which funds the MITRE Corporation to operate the CVE program as an independent objective third party. The MITRE Corporation is the program root CNA, the Secretariat, and the CNA of last resort. MITRE is the final arbiter of disputes, manages the CVE program operations, hosts the CVE master list, manages the CVE numbering schema, maintains the public presence, performs assignments of CVE IDs for products not covered by other CNAs, and executes a range of improvement activities such as automation, processes, operations, and the CNA rules. The CNA of last resort is an established top-level root operational role for CVEs. The CNA of last resort is a similar role to the CNA role, except the scope is defined as everything not covered by any other CNA. The CNA of last resort is also responsible for coordinating between existing root CNAs if there is a conflicting CVE issue and for identifying new industries where new coverage exists. Root CNAs manage a group of sub-CNAs within a distinct agreed-upon scope. Root CNAs mentor, onboard, and admit new sub-CNAs within the root CNA scope. Sub-CNAs assign CVE IDs for vulnerabilities in their distinct agreed-upon scope and submit the vulnerability information to the CVE list when they make the vulnerability public. Sub-CNAs are administered and mentored by root CNAs. This concludes our presentation.